ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to Armored Warfare, where today, finally, I have something new to show you. In today's episode, you're going to see Terminator 2 in action, or TPMPT-72, which is also known as the Terminator 2. Uh, In-game name is also Terminator 2, so yeah, this is how we call it, or T2, which is actually 10 times easier way to call it. And uh, it is a tier 9 Russian armored fighting vehicle, a tier 9 Russian AFV, that was first revealed in 2013. So it is fairly new vehicle actually. Pretty damn new vehicle. Newer than my car. <laughs> it is very similar to its uh, predecessor, TPMPT uh, Terminator, which is a tier 6 premium AFV in the game. Uh, best tier 6 premium, <laughs> pretty much. That is going to make you sick amount of credits, uh, and including uh, being built on a base uh, T-72 hull, where it disguised itself from the BMPT, however, is that the BMPT-72 is a retrofit vehicle only. Upgraded from T-72s and other similar vehicles with no new builds. So this is the history lesson for you, just a little history lesson for you under the history tab that you can all read, but I did it for you, so... There you go. Uh, so, as it is armor fighting vehicle, it has uh, AFE special abilities. Uh, actually, it comes with one smoke charge as well, which is awesome. So you can uh, uh, use one smoke round, and you can also designate your targets. On crab, for example, you can only designate uh, enemy targets. That is going to reveal their position for 20 seconds. But over here, we can actually research one uh, uh, smoke round as well, which is really welcome and he's helping out me a lot and now let's talk about the firepower terminator 2 actually comes with only one gun so you do not have to uh, research anything you can only research uh, better 80 gems and uh, firepower retrofit slot under the firepower tab so yeah that's pretty nice isn't it so AP rounds, uh, penetration 201, and uh, average damage is 60. HC penetration is 9, average damage 39, and 80 gems, penetration 1146, and average damage 552. And HC, uh, or 80 gems, is where this, uh, where this little AFE actually rocks. I have done so much damage with uh, 80 gems, it is not even funny anymore. Sadly, I didn't record one battle where I destroyed two Challenger Jews pretty much from the full HP with 80 gems only. Uh, of course, they were busy with other targets and I was able to destroy them from the distance, but uh, still, it was pretty damn nice game. Uh, damage per minute, 9424. Uh, hull 8 points, uh, 2225. Now, when I'm talking about hull 8 points, I have to talk about my retrofits as well. So what I'm using is uh, Magnetic Actuator Mark III, which gives me plus 4.95% uh, extra damage and 11.25% uh, faster aim time. I am using Mark III Internal Hull Reinforcement that is going to give me plus 11.25% extra hit points. I'm using Mark II Damage Retrofit which gives me 6.25% more damage, which is actually pretty damn awesome. And uh, I'm using in intercom system as well. Actually, I'm going to change that. I'm going to get extra view range. Uh, but at the moment, I have Mark III intercom system. I actually do not need it over here because we have auto loading system, which is actually getting destroyed pretty much every single game in every single game. And um, boosting your crew is not going to boost your reload time, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to I'm going to use something that gives me extra view range, vision range, maybe enhanced sight interface that is going to give me a plus 20 meters view range and component saves plus 12 percent. All right, so hull hit points, including all the retrofits, 2,225, as I said. Hull uh, armor, which is actually fairly nicely sloped, uh, 320 side armor, 200, and rear armor, 100. And actually, you're bouncing a lot with your hull, but uh, the weak spot, obviously, is your turret. Every single hit, pretty much, is going to deal damage. Not full damage, but uh, half of the damage. But uh, if uh, B1 Draco, for example, is going to see you, then he's going to be able to deal a shit ton of damage to you very fast. Because he's going to be able to penetrate every single chat into your uh, gun system. 
or turret, as I like to call it, because actually it is consistent. Next up we have mobility, maximum speed 61.20 kilometers, uh, pretty decent acceleration 3.90 seconds uh, from 0 to 32, which is also pretty, pretty awesome, quite happy about the mobility. Moving on to the utility, we can see that gamma flux factor is 0.275, I can say that it is decent at the best. Like nothing special over here, you're going to be spotted fairly often when you open fire with your Terminator 2, but uh, all in all, I guess I can work with that. If I'm going to compare this number to the Grab's camouflage uh, factor, then yeah, Grab gets, uh, if I remember correctly, 0 0.45. So pretty much twice as good camo factor as on BMPT-72. Anyways, the view range 465 meters, so not huge fan of the view range as well. This is actually quite bad. Once again, I have to compare this number to the Grab's view range and Grab gets 520 meters. So extra 55 meter view range on Grab. But uh, targeting stats, uh, gun depression, minus 10 degrees, which is really good. And uh, the best thing about uh, this uh, gun system over here is that when you are moving your, your gun up and down or left and right, your uh, AT gems or AT gem units are actually moving together with you. So you can shoot over the rocks that you are not going to be able to do with Terminator. Uh, it is actually one of the best features. I should have mentioned it before actually because it is really really important thing. You can hide yourself behind a rock, you can shoot over the rocks because if you are going to aim up your AT gem units are going to aim up as well. So it is really good uh, about contemplation, 10 degrees, decent, yeah, love it, love it. Terror traverse 45.61 degrees per second, reload time 9 seconds, dead. Uh, accuracy 0 0.09 and targeting time 1.42 seconds, which is amazing, because it is AFE. Anyways, uh, now let's jump into one live gameplay as well, and let's see how much damage we are going to be able to do over there. I actually like this matchmaking, because uh, enemy team has uh, 3 grabs, and M8, and X M8. So yeah, a lot of targets that I can actually penetrate with my main guns as well with my machine guns Gatling cannons what spotted me? oh crap and a mate already up on the hill I guess yes 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 X a mate let's see if I can get an angle over those X mates seems like we are going to be aggressive oh whoa whoa yes 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 oh crap is over here one crab Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. This guy was like on fire pretty much. Oh shit. Okay, I'm reloading. Guys, reloading, reloading, reloading. Yeah, that's why I use smoke screen. Just to lose my spotting. Versus that X and 133. Some revenge. But the reality is the only damaging shot to me, actually. So, I have two options how I can play over here. I can be fairly aggressive, or I can wait for someone to get even further, and I can wait for my opportunity. But, hostile target is marked now. Why you do this? Why you do this, man? That crap effed up my strategy. Okay, Ariete. Took the shot. Every time autoloader is it, man. Every single time. Get your shit together, autoloader. OT90 MS. Can I sneak that shot in? Ah, fuck. Yeah. Nothing. I knew. I knew that. A thunderbolt up here. What? What? Come on, nice. Did you see that? Did you see my, my, my freaking aim was locking into I don't know where. My aim was locking into nowhere. Like this was the position where my aim was locking. I was actually quite scared. 
that I'm not going to be able to do anything. Okay, T90 is actually pushing forward. Nice, nice, nice. He took the shot. He ah! Get a life grab. Get a life. Luckily, I have some extra hit points. Alright, crab has been spotted. I'm spotted as well. Hmm. I would like to help out my MPTs in the middle, but as long as this T90 over here is still active, I'm not going to be able to do that. Oh, yes, please. Christmas, please, game early. APS, usually. I have to move back. Away from that crab. Jesus Christ, man. This is why I love crab, actually, myself, as well. Like, crab is super, super annoying, man. Just making the T90 angry a little bit. No, please spot that crab. Oh, there you are. Little fucker. Something, something back. Not as much damage as he did to me, but something. 80 gems. Reload. Two targets left. One is grab. Okay, who is moving all the way around? Leopard 2A6. And uh, this game is over. <laughs> GG noob. Who was the guy? Yeah, Stoke tied last. Stoke, you were the one who got destroyed. So GG noob to you as well. Whoever destroyed you. Who was that? P1 Draco, maybe? Yeah, I guess. I guess so. So let's see what did we get. Looking at the score, we can see that not too bad of a battle, actually. Pretty heavy tier 9 battle and gold medal. 5.8k damage done, 11 spotted and uh, close to 2k spotting damage. So number 1 by damage dealt and number 1 by reputation. Pretty nice gap, actually. Number 1 by damage uh, dealt overall. So yeah, uh, we were playing fairly aggressively because uh, uh, because of the matchmaking. Uh, I was able to penetrate a lot of uh, tier 9 tanks and uh, XM8 and uh, M8 as well. So yeah, that's why I was playing fairly aggressively. Not too aggressive, but it works out this time. But guys, this was today's episode about BMPT-72 aka Terminator 2 as we can see from up here. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it was informative or something like that as well and I get you next time. Stay awesome, take care and bye.